Welcome back to the game, everybody. We're continuing our playthrough here of Wrath of Ashardalon with uh, some allies and the Orc faction pack. As we start this turn, we've got to take another point of damage. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One point away from taking a knee and dropping to the floor. So let's, uh, let's press forward. Our paladin is there in the long hallway and now has a chance to move around, possibly explore. Uh, let's see what she can do. I'm going to have her explore up here uh, to, toward the, to the west. So we're going to move her over there to the edge of the tile. And that's going to bring us to the end of the hero phase. So what we need to do is give her yet another chance to shake off this poison effect. We've had horrible luck so far. And it remains terrible, so our paladin will drop in the next turn. Let's, uh, let's get up there, move on to the exploration phase and see what we find. Here is the next tile. Uh, it is a black triangle and we're gonna have another encounter card. Well our paladin looks down uh, to the west and sees an approaching cave bear. Here we see the keyword animal. Uh, this would have definitely been a monster that would have been activated under the druid's uh, beast master power. So fortunately the druid is not around to add the extra aggravation. So let's get a cave bear and put him on the scorch mark. All right, that's gonna end the exploration phase. We're heading into the villain phase. Let's take an encounter card and see what we've got. A thief in the dark. You check your pack to discover one of your prized possessions has been stolen. The active hero discards a treasure card. Well, um, uh, We've got some pretty good treasure. Let's see what we may want to get rid of. I think I'm going to keep the shield, the weapon, and the gauntlets of Ogre Power. This could be handy, but it's not uh, as certain since it's just a reroll. Those other things add a constant uh, bonus. So the thief took our lucky charm. Well, before we activate that cave bear, our Dragon Knight, which is down here close to the wizard, gets to take an action. And it says that if he's within one tile of a monster, he's going to move adjacent and attack it. So this is good. He might take down the um, these Legion Devils, possibly. He, he needs a good attack roll to do this, though. Plus six to the attack. Uh, Legion Devils have an armor class of 16. So we're going to need a... Ooh, nice. We got a 20. And if any of you are considering about, you know, leveling up or anything, this is under our Paladin's control. Our Paladin is already leveled up. Uh, we don't have enough experience to do that anyway. So this is just a good takedown of the last Legion Devil. He is uh, removed from the game and uh, his card will add three experience to our pile. So that was nice. Legion Devils don't have to worry about them anymore for now. Well for taking down the uh, Legion Devils there, let's draw a treasure card. We've got Potion of Healing. Nice. Uh, the Dragon Knight is under the Paladin's control. This, this treasure card goes to the Paladin, but uh, we can't use it right now. It needs to be used during the hero phase, and uh, I think we're going to drop in the next hero phase, actually. So, probably going to have to spend a healing surge for the Paladin. And then uh, maybe this can help take off some of the extra points. So let's just keep it. We're going to give this to the Paladin for now to hang on to. But our old friend, the Cave Bear, uh, he's going to move in for an attack on the Paladin. And as this uh, approaching attack goes, uh, it's going to attack with a Leaping Strike. And the Strike 
here as we'll take a look on the card. The strike is going to be plus eight to the attack roll. It'll cause two damage and daze our paladin. So this could drop the paladin if it hits. Let's give the dice a roll and see how this goes. So plus eight on the attack roll. Let's see what we've got. We've, how we got a two. So only a 10. Uh, the shield uh, comes up and the paladin uh, fends off the bear's attack. So we have avoided dropping this turn. Well, we're back to our wizard and his half-orc ally down here at the bottom of the map. Can our wizard remain? in his place, unmoving? I think he can. So for his uh, hero phase, we don't have to deal with any conditions right now, so that's good. We could have had several to deal with with that last encounter card if we hadn't uh, canceled it in the previous turn. So we just get to make our move and uh, let's move the wizard eye. Let's have it go to the north one tile and you know we could take another move action and move it again but uh, I think we're gonna keep it there one two or I don't know should I go down here to the bottom I gotta think about what's gonna be in range and if we take a look at some of our powers uh, one of my most long-distance powers is going to attack something within two tiles that could potentially be over here. So let's move the wizard eye down as a first move action. And then we're going to move it one more space as a second move action. So remember, if you don't attack on your turn, you can move two spaces. So let's draw our next tile. Uh, it's a hallway. It's not the long hallway, but uh, a hallway. And we'll place it here. Black triangle, so we're going to get an encounter card. All right, what do we find? Interesting, we got a new monster here. This is from the, uh, I believe this is the orc pack. It is an owl bear. And interesting, it's an animal. So this would have also been activated by the druid, along with the cave bear. Owl bear. Armor class 14, hit points 3. Uh, Going to be doing at least one point of damage, even on a miss. So uh, we got some other tactics here. It looks like it's got some speed. If it's within two tiles of a hero, it's going to move adjacent and attack. And then it says, after the attack, pass this card to the player on your right. So this is going to go over from the wizard to the paladin after it makes its attack. So this guy's pretty ferocious. Worth four experience if we can take him down. So what happens if we're too far away? It says he's gonna move two tiles to the closest hero and then you pass it. So let's see, let's get that, get out the owlbear. Here is the model. You can kind of see the eyes there with the beak. And uh, I think this has a larger base. So let's get the uh, owlbear over there on the scorch mark. It's going to be kind of filling up this hallway here. And ready to charge. So maybe the half-orc thug can get off a shot first. Well, before the combat, we've got to do something with an encounter card. So let's see. Deep Tremor. A deep tremor shakes the dungeon as rocks fall from the ceiling. Attack each hero. Each hero, that's like everybody. Plus eight to the attack and one damage uh, for everyone that's hit. Well, let's start with our paladin because this is attacking everybody in the dungeon. Uh, plus eight to the attack. Seven plus eight. Let me see what my armor class here. No, the paladin is all right. Uh, let's move on to the Dragon Knight. Plus 8 to the attack. 13. Uh oh. Uh, this is not good. I think that's going to actually kill the Dragon Knight. He only has 3 hit points. He's got 2 damage on him. So a third point of damage. 
kills our buddy, the Dragon Knight. He's out. Sad to see him go. So a large chunk of the ceiling falls and and uh, crushes the brave Dragon Knight. Well, how about our half orc thug here? Let's see what happens. No, he's safe. He's all right. Just barely. <laughs> Plus eight to the attack. Rolling a 13. His armor class is 14. He just manages to avoid uh, damage here. And finally, let's see what happens to our wizard. Our wizard finally got his clothes on straight, so uh, not the best armor class. Interesting, we rolled another 5. 13, his armor class is 14. He is also okay. So uh, we did lose a friend, but uh, everybody else is hanging in there. So let's discard this and move on. Well, our half-orc thug is going to shoot an explosive bolt straight down this hall. He can shoot something within two tiles, plus five to his attack, trying to hit an armor class of 14. That is a miss. So uh, the owl bear is now enraged and is going to charge. And he's going to charge... Uh, Let's see, if it's within two tiles of a hero, it moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks with nasty claws. So we've got a choice. The wizard or the half-orc thug. Sorry, thug. Uh, I'm going to have it be you. The thug is attacked by the owlbear's nasty claws. Let's see what happens. Plus six to the attack. That's a 20. And that is going to hit for two damage. And two damage added to the one damage he's already suffered. That takes out our other ally, which is a shame. We've lost both of them. Well, so here we are at the end of this turn. Um, We've lost both of our allies. Our paladin, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Our paladin will drop at the hero phase next turn. Two monsters are on the board. Uh, we're getting close, I think, to our goal of finding this mysterious chamber, but um, we will have some choices to make. So catch me for the next turn. Things are getting exciting.